Well, an unprecedented rehearing set for August 11th for General Michael Flynn. The D.C. Court of Appeals sided with the corrupt judge, uh, Emmett Sullivan, to re-examine the Justice Department's decision to drop the case against the general. This politically corrupt judiciary refuses to right the wrongs of what was a corrupt FBI against uh, working against Flynn and President Trump from four years ago. And it goes on and on. Joining us now to take this up is Tom Fenton, the president of Judicial Watch, a man whose organization is involved every day in trying to right wrongs. His new book is A Republic Under Assault, the left's ongoing attack on American freedom. It's available for pre-order now. We recommend it to you mightily. Tom, let's, uh, let's start with this, uh, first this reversal in Boston. What's going on here? Uh, the federal government uh, has now the, the right to reinstate executions. What are, we, what are we watching here if it's not an activist judiciary? Well, you know, I'm just seeing the headlines here. I suspect it's just more uh, anti-death penalty uh, ideology substituting for law here uh, by the judges. Uh, what's interesting is there's a question of juror bias, and it's, isn't it interesting how they gave uh, that terrorist murder the benefit of the doubt when, when Roger Stone raises the, issue of juror, juror, uh, raises the issue of juror bias? In his case, the lower court judge there dismissed it out of hand. Yeah, absolutely. And uh, in the General Flynn case, to see the appellate court decide to hear a case that should be ended now, based in law, based in precedent. There is no precedent for anything that is transpiring now in the Flynn case at either the district court level and Judge uh, Sullivan's court or at the D.C. appellate court. They've lost their minds here. Yeah, I mean, first Flynn was abused and harassed by the Justice Department, FBI, et cetera. Now he's been uh, abused by the judiciary for months. <laughs> The writing's on the wall, Lou. As you as you know, I've been calling on the president to pardon General Flynn. These judges have it out for General Flynn. He needs to be protected from this abuse. It's not only an attack on Flynn. Remember, it's an attack on the presidency, the president of the United States, yeah. and Donald Trump. He needs to protect the Constitution and pardon General Flynn. And these these judges, these appellate court judges, the district court judge are acting in the interest of the radical Dems, the Democrat Party, uh, the left in this country. It is an effort, as you say, to attack this president. But first and foremost, it is giving primacy to the left uh, and the progressive agenda. It's outrageous. And why? Why in the world isn't the Solicitor General of the United States intervening in this case and demanding emergency action to stop this because it's flagrantly unlawful unconstitutional and unprecedented. Go to the Supreme Court and stop it here. Why should General Flynn be dragged through any more of this, and why should we have to witness this absolute political corruption of our judiciary without either comment or protest? Yeah, I'm not quite sure whether the legal process allows them to skip over this um, this step to get to the Supreme Court, but you're well, right. Let's, uh, you know what let's do? Let's, I'll tell you what let's do, Tom. Let's do this. Let's do something unprecedented just like the left did. Right. Let's take it to the damn Supreme Court, whether well, there's a precedent or not. It's well, outrageous. Wanna... It's un-American. It's unfair. And the, but, the, but you call attention to, an, to a key point. The Justice Department has treaded carefully here, and they didn't take the aggressive steps initially. For instance, Sidney Powell had to file the motion, uh, the mandamus petition. Right. The Justice Department didn't do it. Why not? And, yeah, and, well, and by the way, where's the criminal investigation? And, and where's the criminal investigation of what they did to Flynn? The judges yeah, are going to do it. Where's the Justice Department? Yeah, well, we know where they are and we know who they are, don't we? And this is not a uh, Justice Department that has been <laughs> that has been purged uh, of the uh, the corruption uh, that uh, gripped that department for the past decade. It, it's outrageous. Yeah. Yep. Well, uh, this is why I think the president should go outside the Justice Department for investigators of the Justice Department and the FBI. We can't look. I mean, we're, we're this earlier this week, the FBI and DOJ looked at the, all those FISA 
applications that the IG said were scams and said, oh, don't worry, uh, our failures in those uh, FISA applications weren't material to the, to the uh, uh, decision-making by the court. I mean, who are they fooling? Who are they fooling? They can't be trusted to investigate themselves. Well, and they can be trusted, but I don't trust anyone right now uh, in the judiciary. Uh, it's an outrageous, outrageous court system. I mean, who do you expect? I mean, would you go to Justice, Chief Justice John Roberts for his uh, arbitration of a, of a serious issue? The man is obviously sold out to the left. I mean, where would you, everybody, at every court level, they're, they're making decisions based on which president appointed them, which party they find most appealing to their personal pol political view. I, I mean, it's outrageous, Tom. The, well, on top, of that, look, uh, uh, on top of that ahead. kind of general bias, Lou, you've got this crazed anti-Trump antagonism by certain judges that has made the traditional oh, the liberal hell, activism I... look like uh, look like piddly winks from the past. Yeah. Uh, that President Trump isn't being protected under the law by too many judges because they don't like him personally. It's the worst form of judicial abuse and harassment. Yeah, well, it is, it's a hell of a lot more than a personal preference. They're going after this president because he's turning them upside down. He no, is turning this country back from the, uh, the left uh, uh, that has controlled it for a decade, and they know, whether it is in foreign policy or domestic, uh, that this president is doing uh, unprecedented things uh, for this nation, for working men and women, for the American family, uh, and for, for minorities. Uh, and, and now we have to listen to a previous president uh, uh, spewing campaign rhetoric at a, a funeral for a civil rights icon. Uh, you know, it, it's just stunning to watch what the media is uh, doing just because their corporate masters insist uh, that they uh, go after this president uh, for their economic and political purposes. Tom Fenton, thanks so much.